Hi, my name is Vishal. In this video, we will discuss a very important topic from quantitative aptitude that is time and work. Time and work is very important from placement point of view because at least 2 to 3 questions are asked from this area. We will discuss a shortcut method to solve any time and work problem in less than 30 seconds. This method is known as chocolate method. Why chocolate method? Because it is very easy to remember and we all love chocolates. Let's look at an example. Vishal can do a piece of work in 40 days and Nida can do the same work in 60 days. Working together, in how many days will they complete the work? To solve this question by chocolate method, first we will understand what is chocolate method. Chocolate method says that we have to assume the total work as the total number of chocolates to be eaten which is the LCM, least common multiple of number of days. In this question, total work will be LCM of 40 days and 60 days that is LCM will be 120. So total work would be 120 chocolates. Now according to question, question says Vishal can do a piece of work in 40 days. That means Vishal can eat 120 chocolates in 40 days. So in one day Vishal will eat 3 chocolates. Comes to Nida, Nida can do the same work. That is Nida can eat 120 chocolates in 60 days. That means Nida can eat 2 chocolates in a day. Working together, that means Vishal and Nida are eating chocolates together. Vishal can eat 3 chocolates in a day and Nida can eat 2 chocolates in a day. So together they will eat 3 plus 2 that is 5 chocolates in a day. Now they have to complete, they have to eat total 120 chocolates. Together they are eating 5 chocolates in a day. So 120 chocolates they will eat in 120 by 5 that is 24 days. Let's try to solve one more example. A can do a piece of work in 12 days. B can do the same piece of work in 15 days. C can also do the same piece of work in 30 days. A starts the work and B joins him after 3 days. 3 days before the work is completed, A leaves and C joins the work. In how many days will the work be completed? Now. If we solve this question by chocolate method, total work would be LCM of number of days. That is, total work will be LCM of 12, 15 and 30. LCM will be 60. So total work will be 60 chocolates. Now, A can eat 60 chocolates in 12 days. That means A's per day efficiency is 5 chocolates per day. B can eat 60 chocolates in 15 days. So, B will eat 4 chocolates in a day and C 60 chocolates in 30 days that means 2 chocolates per day. Now come to question. Question says A starts the work and B joins him after 3 days. That means first 3 days only A was working, only A was eating chocolates. A can eat 5 chocolates in a day. So in 3 days A can eat 15 chocolates. After 3 days B joins A. But it is not mentioned for how many days they eat chocolates. We will assume as A days. Now, A eats 5 chocolates and B eats 4 chocolates in a day. Together, they will eat 5 plus 4 that is 9 chocolates in a day. For A days, they will eat 9 A chocolates. Last part of this question, last 3 days. Last 3 days, A leaves and C joins the work. That means, in last 3 days, C and B were working. B can eat 4 chocolates in a day and C can eat 2 chocolates in a day. Together, they will eat 6 chocolates in a day. For 3 days, they will eat 6 into 3 that is 18 chocolates. An equation is formed that is 15 plus 9A plus 18 is equal to 60. In this equation, 15 is the chocolates eaten by A in first 3 days. 9A is the chocolates eaten by A and B together in A days and 18 is the chocolates eaten by B and C in last 3 days which is equal to 60 total number of chocolates to be eaten or according to chocolate method our total work. We will solve this equation and we will get the value of A as 3. We can say total number of days in which the work is completed is 9.
थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री थ्री इज द फर्स्ट थ्री डेज वेन ए वॉज वर्किंग अलोन थ्री is again between a days when a and b were working and 3 is the last 3 days when only b and c were working questions from pipes and cisterns can also be solved by using chocolate method only difference is that we will assume total capacity of cistern as the lcm of time mentioned let's look at an example a tank generally takes 20 minutes to be filled by pipe x but due to a leak it takes 10 extra minutes to get filled find the time in which the leak alone can empty the cistern filled with water pipe x is taking 20 minutes due to a leak extra 10 minutes that means if i am assuming a new pipe y as leakage pipe so x plus y will take 30 minutes 10 minutes extra total capacity according to chocolate method would be lcm of 20 and 30 minutes that means 60 liters will be the capacity x is filling 60 liters in 20 minutes that means efficiency would be 3 liter per minute x plus y pipe x and leakage pipe y together will 60 liters in 30 minutes that is 2 liters per minute solving equation we can get y's efficiency is 1 liter per minute but we'll put negative sign in front of 1 because y is a leak in pipe y can empty at 1 liter per minute so to empty the whole system whole 60 liters it will take 60 minutes